I don't well, know if I want to be 18 again. <laughs> well, like, we got to give context to why you're saying that. No, no, so, that, no, we don't. We yeah, don't. It's just, I don't. You don't want to be 18 again? I just don't want to be 18 again. Is there a reason? But I'd be 28 right. again. 28 again? Like, yeah. He hasn't yeah. even reached that yet. We have. We have. <laughs> yeah. I was first, just saying that I want to do my 30s over again. Well, I'm still in my 30s, yeah. but the, the first five years, because I feel like once you hit 30, you hit that point in your life where yeah. you've hit a goal and you're like finally doing the things you want to do freely. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Career is hit a certain goal or, you know, maybe some people hit it younger, but yeah. for me it was… 30. When I hit 30, it was like, okay, Momentum. now we have a real adult life. Like on the ringer? Yes. It was 30 on the ringer? I'm going to go with yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go with yeah. So Probably yeah. not, but yeah. What yeah. were your 20s? Just kind of like, quote unquote, finding yourself? No, no, no. I think I was found. Okay. Uh, it was just still coming up through my career. Oh, uh, yeah. My wife was still yeah. finding her way in the career that she's in. So, right. not, you know, or working towards a goal. Definitely, so definitely. Once we were both there, it was much easier to like say… Time to enjoy life, yeah. plan it, yeah. settle yeah. into life rather than work towards the life that we're looking for. Right. We, yeah. we had it. So was your life like okay. work, 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 so work, work? It's still work, work, yeah, work, work, right, work. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. <laughs> but yeah. it's like, okay, now this is life and yeah. now we can do the things we want to do. Now we can start planning things. Right, yeah. right, 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 you know? right, right. Well, let's take a step backwards real quick so the audience knows who you are. So <laughs> thanks for coming on the podcast. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks, who thanks, are you? Yeah, well, thanks yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Get right into yeah, it. Yeah, I like that. Sorry, I like dude, that about we, you. We were vibing. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They were vibing but no, in. But no one knows his name, so <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> anonymous. This is anonymous. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Okay. All right, Names right. are just an illusion. Yeah. We got just Matthew like age, Roton right? here on the podcast. So, what what do you exactly do? To give any uh, so <laughs> when did you get into what you are? I'm a are. I'm a mortgage broker, so yeah. I originate mortgages, and um, you know I've been in this business for I think it's. 14 years now, wow. which is a, wow. okay. a long time. And um, yeah, I mean, it started as a as a grind and not really knowing if that was going to be what I wanted to do for life right. mm -hmm. by any means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when I got into it, it was, I mean, I was young. I was probably like, what, 22? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it was just another thing to start with. I was right. like, okay, this is the financial sector. This is what I want to be in. Right. Mm -hmm. It's business. Okay, let's see where this goes. But I don't know if I was going to like it. Yeah. Um, but after working in it for several years, then I decided, okay, this is, I really do like yeah. this and I'm going to stick yeah. to it. Hmm. Did, how, how did you get into it? Very random. <laughs> Literally just do tell. searching for a job. No like, okay. kidding. Okay. Yeah, just random. Like out of school or just no Like school? I don't want to say where I found it because it's probably so antiquated of a, way to find a job right. that for you younger folks, sure, you're going to sure, be sure. like, that's a place where it's still a little, it's a sketchy place to yeah. find a job. But <laughs> yeah, Craigslist. Craigslist, yeah. I, was say, Craigslist, yeah. So I had to work towards it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, work my way up to that. I had to go. get context just to yeah. Yeah. let everyone know that I understand that it's, yeah, it's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, there. No kidding. So were you, did you go to college? Yeah. Okay. And so out of college where you was, were you trying to be like, okay, what's the move? And so yeah, yeah straight to Craigslist and then. That's how you found it. Well, it was it. just like random stuff at first. Yeah, and yeah. then And then it was, um, I saw and I was like, okay, real estate, right. mortgages. It was kind of a different time. Mm -hmm. The industry was screwed up. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was with the, the huge crash of everything. Mm. Right. And so everything was depressed and distressed. Yeah. And, you know, it was a weird time to get in it. I would say it's probably not the most opportune time, yeah. but, hmm. you know, I guess the ad sold me. Right. And I was like, okay, let's go. <laughs> what, so, what was the ad? What was the ad? I don't know. It was probably something about like, you know, you know, unlimited, yeah. you know, uh, income potential. Right, and, right. You know, Are you 22? <laughs> be, yeah. No, uh, I, don't, I don't think it was that. It was, it was ageless ad, but, yeah. but it was something like that. And then I showed up and I was actually between that and something in, um, you know, construction sales, but the construction mm. sales seemed short-sighted to me. It just seemed mm. like, okay, that's just like a sales job. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere to go with that. Mm -hmm. Like, what, you just sell the jobs and then you're not going to then say, okay, I went from sales to now I'm a contractor. Right, right, you, right, right. You're just a, a salesman. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And so I was like, okay, here you can actually develop a business and mm. and get deeper in. And so gotcha. between the two, I was like, no, I'd rather, I'd rather do that. Right. So what are, like, how do you get deeper in and what are the levels that you can take? I mean, at first… Granted, it was super low level sales. Mm -hmm. So I was like telemarketing, you know, a bullpen, mm. bunch of random people of all different ages. And at that point, um, people weren't 
obtaining financing really like banks were kind of shut down to that right. everyone was getting foreclosed on mm. people needed help to even keep their homes so it was mm. really marketing towards a, a distressed um clientele demographic right yeah so it was not it's like setting up to lose a little bit kind of it wasn't yeah. it wasn't like a f it wasn't fun. Right. It right. wasn't good. Right. Honestly, when I started, it wasn't it wasn't good. It teaches you rejection. I was just though. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Yeah, constant. Resilience. And so yeah. 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 And so at that point it was like you were trying to help people modify their loan to better terms so that they could stay in their house. Right. And at right. that point we were calling all around the country. Oh wow. Yeah. So we were talking out of, to people out of California though, right? Yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere. Wisconsin. Okay. Like it, it didn't mm -hmm. matter. New York. Like you're just talking to random people all over the world. Uh, all over the world. Yeah. All over the <laughs> country. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah no. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not all over the world. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but um, yeah. All over the country. So it was it was kind of weird. Um, but then right after I got in, like slowly it started coming back and right. people were getting loans and stuff. And mm -hmm. so I just stuck with it. You know. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna and it worked gonna out. Give it a go. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not a quitter. Right. Yeah. Right. So right, right. Exactly. If I start something. Yeah, I like to give it a yeah. real go. Did you have any sort of plan B when you were doing it? You're like, no, no, because that would justify quitting, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was not going to be a plan B. It was, if this doesn't work out, then I'll go to my next plan A. Oh. But I just don't I like know that. what it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. You know, good. So yeah. looking at that. All right, it's all good. right. Full-hearted. Were you, um, had you, at 22, had you been married, engaged, or anything yet? Or is it still just... No. No. Okay, just I mean, out of a probably a serious, you know, bad relationship, sure. but that was about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was just like you just were full on work, like, like that some was some party, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah right. work, party, good right, right, balance, right. good mental balance yeah. there, yeah, exactly. you know. So, in that, you were, you're release. talking about there was longevity in this. So, right now to this day, like, what are the things that are highlighted that you finally feel like full in, like, fulfillment in, and like, what are you building um, towards now? So the business itself has longevity because it's always going to be there, mm -hmm. right? Because right? Yep. mortgages are going to be there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Real estate sales, mm -hmm. purchases are going to be there. I mean, you're in real estate dedicated to real estate, whereas I'm in the financing aspect, but right. both are always going to be there. Right. Yep. Right, right, right. You know, I mean, technology is trying to cut both of us out of the business, but so far that personal touch is right. unbeatable. It's mm -hmm. unbeatable. Yeah. It's just yeah. people still want that experience, you know, AI hasn't quite caught up to figuring those situations out or in your case, like advising on things that have, uh, I mean, an emotional value too, yeah. right? right, right. They, they're not quite there yet. Yeah. yeah. With me, I think they could probably get me out of it sooner. Sure. But I don't know. I think the creative thinking and the outside the box thinking, I don't think uh, AI can do that yet. Right. Yeah. And so even, the problem solving aspects yeah. of it, I don't, I don't. Yeah. I don't think so. And then talking someone through it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. They can say, hey, Education. you know, here's here's how you could fix that problem. And that's it. But then that person on the other side is going to be like, well, I need you to talk to me like you're me. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Figure yeah. it out. Yeah. But, so the assumption is on my behalf that I think our roles will be there forever. Sure. You know. Yeah. And so that's why there's longevity in the business. Yeah. But, we're all like AI is just <laughs> coming, coming yeah, for we're us just all. waiting to be replaced. <laughs> oh, right? Dude. Yeah, I know. But as far as like me saying that it's a, I like it is because I get to deal with the problem solving and I like the problem mm -hmm. solving. I like the numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like to be able to figure something out mm -hmm. and fix it. Mm -hmm. You know, granted it can get, you know, tiresome. Right. A little right, bit right. wearing when you're always solving problems. But right. I like that everything's always changing. Mm. Right. It's not yeah. always the same thing. It's a, not like puzzle. monotonous. Yeah. It's not redundant. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, cool. you know, it's not like a, a cog in a wheel. It's, it's, right. it's, it's different. Yeah. There's a different race every time. The course changes mm. constantly. Yeah, there's definitely skill so, involved. It's not, you're right, 100%. right, right, right. Yeah. And, and obviously you have to love talking to people too, or somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhat. Yeah. Somewhat. Yeah. 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 Tend to yeah. like yeah. talking yeah. to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, that would be, yeah, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't imagine you probably wouldn't be doing very well if you couldn't. <laughs> Yeah, no, you, you definitely need to. But I mean, on the bright side, just like life, right? You yeah. get a mix of all the people that are in mm -hmm. your life. So mm -hmm. you get, you know, the impatient people, you get the super kind people, you get the super patient people, you get the people who are rude, mm -hmm. I mean, you get everybody, mm -hmm. you know, you get all walks of life, all ages. It's interesting. It's a lot of know, character keep building. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's also still a problem to be solved. 
Like if you get like a difficult person to work with, it's like how do I maneuver around this person? Correct. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's well, my that's favorite problem is, yeah. to solve. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We had one be, of those together, and yeah. I don't think there was any part of that where I was like, I'm so glad that you <laughs> figured out how to work with this guy yeah, who's an yeah, asshole. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Too bad you can't you shake know. hands yeah. at the end and just be like, yeah, this. He's is not terrible. gonna watch this. I. Yeah. Yeah, so you still gotta be willing to good. take those phone calls. Yeah. Gotta be still. Yeah. It's a business, you know. You have to cater to. Yeah, it does. In that, like, how do you manage or balance like your personal life, and what are things that help in your stress or like different areas? Uh, both healthy and unhealthy. Things. Yeah, you That's just how I manage it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of the above. You know? Yeah. All of the above. Yeah. Any I mean, exercise. You know. Yeah. yeah. Going, enjoying yourself. Yeah. Learning when to kind of shut it down. Sure. Trying to shut it down. It, it's really hard in our business because. Sure. Mm -hmm. the cell phone is here and I don't have a separate work phone. So like, yeah, yeah. you know, I just got like a, a meme my brother-in-law sent um, with me, my wife and uh, her sister. Yeah. And it's like a guy on his laptop and his cell phone and he's sitting like knee deep in ocean water, yeah. like at the beach. <laughs> yeah. And it's like people in real estate on vacation. Yeah. Oh my like, gosh. Yeah, yeah so every accurate. time we Pretty go on it. vacation, literally that's like, I always have a third party. Oh, yeah, man. It's, in our it's relationship, so, it's so, so accurate, well, man. That's it, just what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, so did you did you grow up in California? I can't remember if we talked about this last time. Obviously not. LA on, native on the pod. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. LA native, always, man. always. Yeah. Family Forever. too, like from just down, down, down. Uh, or, no, I mean yeah. my mom. No, both of them for you know one's out of country and okay. one's out of state. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So my dad was like from West Virginia. Okay. And he moved out here because he was in a you know, military family. So, okay, okay. Yeah, my grandfather was in the Navy, so they moved out to the base. Right. You know, by, uh, by uh, I think it was Edwards Air Force Base uh -huh. out in the desert. Got so it. So that's how he got here. And my mom, she came here during the Vietnam War. So mm, okay. Kind of like escaped that. Yeah. Kind of like refugee status. Gotcha. You know, but. Was there yeah. ever, um, was there ever any, I don't know, like. You got this. Thank you. Like, you need some of that. You need some of your lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> ever any any fire to uh, to like join the military or anything? No, no, no absolutely not. There was never no. like a uh, pressure from the family. No. Okay. Because my dad, I mean, for him, it was like a means to an end. Because he also joined. Right. So right. He, that's okay. Mm. That's what. I was yeah. Gonna, so yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. He he, you know, my grandfather was in the navy. Right. He ended up being in the army, but he joined. Probably for different reasons than like my grandpa. Of course. Like of he course. joined out of. Gotta do it. There's yeah. not. No, no, that's 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 a more uh, oh. honorable cause. You oh, know? Okay, okay, my grandpa okay. probably joined like fight the good fight and mm -hmm. get out there mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, do something. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he he was, a, you know, a little bit of a troublemaker at the time <laughs> right, when he was right. younger. And so it was like, what are you going to do with yourself? Like, OK, mm. go go yeah. join the army. And then he got um, he got injured real bad. And so they oh, put okay. him on. They put him on tech, so he started doing like um, defense software and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and hmm. you know more computer stuff because he was off off the battlefield. And so they're like, "Here's you're gonna do this," and then he got into what he got into in software design. And oh wow, so when that's he what got, he's in. Oh yeah. no kidding. Okay, yeah, so, and so got, that's been his whole career. Wow. So that put him on the track. So he got lucky. Yeah. Right, right. Did that right, make so he wasn't you fall in love much. with like numbers and problem solving no, at no. all? No, <laughs> no. So what made you? The only thing his uh, workaholic mentality and doing that would have made me fall in love in is like with is probably like the back of someone's head in an office chair. Right. That's, that was um, the experience. Yeah. Got yeah. It. <laughs> he, he told me a story one time where he's like it, the one time when I realized I was working too hard is when you drew you had an assignment at school to draw like, you know, your family uh -huh. and you drew like your mom and stuff like looking forward or like whatever, smiling and like. Then there was like this other picture and I couldn't really tell what it was. And you're like, that's you. And it was like this weird shape of someone in like a chair it kind of looked like with mm. some stuff in the background. Right. And he couldn't figure it out. And he's like, I still don't get it. Like, what is it? It's like, that's you at your computer. Oh, wow. Mm. And that was the, what I drew of my mm. dad. Oh, that's like profound. Like him, wow. you know, at the computer back of his head in an office Whoa. chair with the computer. Wow. In front of him. And he was no. like, that's when I knew I was like doing too much. No work -wise, kidding. Yeah. Wow. I actually did get chills with that though, because that shows such a Yeah. Wow. That is nuts. And yeah. then and then uh what about your mom? Did she She worked very hard, yeah. but I mean Yeah. They they were separated at an early age. Oh, okay. Gotcha, so, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like mama's boy, like yeah. you know, so it was me and her. Yeah. Do you are you only child? 
I am. Oh. Yeah. But it was me and her the whole time. Yeah, so like, yeah. You know. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. She the had to look for it at points, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Of course, man. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Man. Holy crap. Yeah. yeah Dude, but they both well, were hard workers. Yeah, yeah. No, of course. I mean, it's like, it's obviously like you're a hard worker. It's got to be in, in the blood. I feel like that's, a, I truly feel like that has to be kind of a genetic thing. I mean, that's sort of like getting after it sort of thing. I mean. I, I guess, yeah. I mean, were you big in sports? Did you ever? Not really. I mean. Did Not you? really. Yeah. Did I you? mean, I was on the soccer team in high school. Yeah. I was on what was supposed to be a golf team in high school, but right. <laughs> it didn't survive. Sure, right? We had like three people who joined and just, <laughs> we never made it to our first like competition, like nothing. Yeah. No. Fizzled right. out real, real quick. Yeah. How important well, do you feel goals are? Very important. Yeah. I mean, if you don't set a goal, you're, I mean, you're just aimlessly working mm -hmm. and right. achieving. Yeah. But you just don't know what you're working towards. So yeah, goals are important. You know, honestly, I kind of get lost in the day to day, and I probably should set more specific goals than I, than I do. Right, mm -hmm. right. My goals are more like I don't know. They might be a little too short sighted. Yeah, they're either very short sighted mm -hmm. or super big picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like feel that have totally. a family, like have this. This is how well, many you, kids I want. Yeah, well, I want to have this amount of financial freedom. You had your own house cetera. built. Which oh was, yeah, yeah. That, that's an amazing journey. Most but people see, don't so the do. funny thing is, I didn't. As I say, yeah, goal, how are you going to accomplish anything without goals? Yeah. It's like, I'm not a good example of that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. is that not All like a big, big picture thing? I was just like, oh, I guess now we'll make the house. Like, what's or... the next thing? Well, no, yeah. I mean, like, the, I've bought and sold, like, probably, I don't know, like, seven properties or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. over my time. And then, you know, kept some and whatever. Mm -hmm. So, but as I did each of those, it was like, well, okay, I'm in this business. Now I know that I'm capable to do this. Mm -hmm. Here's a good opportunity. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. But I never had a goal of like, okay, this year I want to do X amount of projects. Ah. It just kind of happened. Interesting. Like I want to do projects. Okay, so I'll do it. I want to do some. Right. So let's see how much I can do based on how income is going and what opportunities hmm. pop up. Right. So there was never the goal, That's, which probably if I would have set a goal, I would have done more. Right. That's so, actually- Bad example, yeah. Awesome. But I recognize the fact that you yeah. should set goals and that's how you're going to truly accomplish right you know, things that are big. Totally. Yeah. By setting those goals. Maybe daily I recognize goals, it. I just know? don't. Yeah. yeah. I'm good at recognizing all the right things to do. It's just. That's step one. Implementing. Step this, right? one. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so th that's really fascinating. So for like, um, you were saying you've done multiple properties and still own multiple properties. So um, is that kind of like setting up that passive sort of income on the side? Like when did you start Definitely. getting into that? And did you learn that through what you do? Or was yeah, that through like mentorship? Seeing, or? I mean, seeing examples of it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and seeing, um, sure, you can call them mentors mm -hmm. or, um, you know, the people along our side who have been in a, in a senior role to us right. and just seeing what they do. Right, right, And right. just sort of emulating that. Yeah. And seeing what works. Right. Mm -hmm. And then following that and just going for it. Yeah. You know? yeah. But, but yeah, it wasn't something that was, if I would have been in a different business, mm. would I have known those things? Probably not. Yeah. Unless someone, you know, it's not like it was a family thing. It wasn't mm -hmm. like my mom or dad. They're they're very conservative and, mm -hmm. you know, they have their, their home they live in. They're not into investing like, at all besides mm -hmm. stocks. Like my dad's huge in, in trading. But, sure. But that's that. Yeah. But not in real estate, not in property, you know. Which he has is, his home he lives in and that's, that's it, hmm. and, you which, know. Which is one of the yeah. biggest, I but, mean… I, that's I'm still trying to wrap my head around it because I mean if you can make some smart decisions with that I mean that's one of the most foolproof best biggest wealth do. creators yeah period yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah I mean besides having a company that just blows up and and then you know exiting and selling it mm -hmm. you know other than that I mean creating that passive income and a portfolio mm -hmm. that's gonna hold right. its own yeah. for yeah creates you life. Can create wealth so yeah. it's real estate I have yeah. a question for you if let's say in theory, someone came into like, let's just say like a flat 100K, right? Sure. And in a place like LA, like buying a home and stuff like that, that's a wild mm -hmm. thing. But how could you take in a kind of perfect world, how could you take something like that and approach a location or something and put money into it? Would you go in with multiple investors or, or what would be kind of like... Um, do you go to a bank for a loan to get a sort of property at that point or? Yeah, I mean, yes and no. So, I mean, it depends. Like, so okay. it, for instance, you put a specific amount of money out there into this scenario, right? Uh -huh. So that's useful in knowing, okay, where am I investing? I'm investing in LA. Okay, right. So. Probably not The, the much. bigger the property values, the more money you need, right? Right, right. 
to have a feasible investment. Now, if you're savvy enough, you can take that money, you can partner up with other people, mm -hmm. you can leverage out, you know, you can really leverage mm -hmm. and do something strategic. But for the average, like first time investor, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people out there, social media, especially that will like sell the dream, you know, mm -hmm. and they're usually teaching master classes or whatever they're doing and they're generating their income through that. Right. Yes. Through people paying smaller amounts to learn these things, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, they like to sell the dream of, hey, you don't even need your own money, get investors money, syndicate that way. It can be done, don't get me wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's not as easy as they yeah. make it seem. That, so, but it is easy to charge someone $2,000 to learn how to do it supposedly. <laughs> right. When yeah. it's all public info, you could definitely Google that stuff. Yeah. That's, you can find it. That's what I find so yeah. fascinating because you do you do hear that. You're sold it all the time. It's like, it's like, well, really, you all you need is a thousand bucks to get started and stuff like that. And it's like, in theory, sure. sure. But I mean, especially depending on where you are, like you were saying, yes, it's like obvious. Yeah. Like if you're trying to, because I mean, you know, I've heard, I've heard so many things about people doing like an apartment complex together, but it's like multiple buddies and stuff than that. Like, there are, there are ways, but it takes, it takes skill and it takes learning and it takes, it takes some knowledge. Yeah. So there are ways. Right. I mean, if you can, the, what they teach, mm -hmm. I, I haven't, you know, mm -hmm. signed up for any of these masterclasses, right. but my, my assumption of what they teach mostly is, is how to find the right deals. Mm -hmm. and if you can find the mm -hmm. right deals that have inherent value in them, that are already good deals, mm -hmm. then you can go and look for the investors and say, hey, I'm syndicating this deal. I need money. I have a great deal mm -hmm. and I want equity. Okay, bring your money in. Give me a reasonable amount of equity. I'll help manage the project, take it along and I've sourced the deal for you. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you have money, you're looking for good deals. Mm -hmm. I just brought you a good deal. You don't mind giving up 10 to 20% when I bring you this great deal, you'll still make your money. Here you go. Let's do it. Ah, and so that's it. And then right. just knowing the dynamics of how to yeah. set up the partnership and things like that. And gotcha. So that's mm -hmm. really what they're teaching. So it seems like, well, why do you need to pay someone for a master class for that? Right. So they have to teach you all the little things. They explain the obvious in a very expanded way. Uh, right. To justify. But that. it is possible. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They're not. They're not BS or anything. Yeah. I'm just saying that their business model is is, is just selling people mm. education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it, it takes. It takes. It takes guts to go and do it. Yeah. Right. right. The risk. So like you yeah. can buy that class and then are you gonna actually make it happen? That's all on you. Yeah. Yeah. That's, so oh, in, go ahead, yeah. Sorry, yeah. in today's market, yeah. basically, what type of loan would be beneficial for people to obtain if they wanted to get the best possible rate? Ooh. And what would they need to even obtain that loan? Yeah. That's I good. mean, best possible rate, it's cookie cutter, cookie cutter stuff. You know, mm. you gotta have the good credit. The more down payment you have, the better. But honestly, these days with the way conventional loans are, which are just basically the traditional cookie cutter mm -hmm. loans, even with low down, time, low down payments, if you have an excellent credit score, you're gonna get a solid rate. Really? Yeah, you can go super low down. You can go 5% down, no problem. No kidding. Yeah. And you'll get a great rate? Yeah, so you could buy a million dollar property in LA, right. right? And put like 50 grand down, make sure you have some for your closing costs, title, escrow, loan fees, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. Or even get a credit from the seller if you can facilitate that through negotiations through your agent. Right. Mm -hmm. And you could come in with, you know, 50 to 70K and buy a million dollar property. That's so interesting. Mm -hmm. All day long, That's, if you qualify for it. Of course. So the mm -hmm. barrier to entry to buy a million dollar property isn't that bad. Right. You know, people may think like, oh, million dollar property, I gotta have like all I'm this done. money saved up. It's like, yeah. no, you could have like 50 to 70K, you're good. Right. Yeah. I think also just hearing you, like it, it shows the importance of having someone with the knowledge like not just learning it yourself right. because sure. you spent your life building the puzzle pieces so that mm. you know how yeah. to navigate the system. And and I think that that's also yeah. how partnership works with, with Brandon as an agent too. Like having the, the different skill sets that someone's going in for you, mm. you know? Yeah. And I think that even just hearing you guys speak about it, it shows so much more passion than me just learning it on. That you're We're in the same boat because yeah. we're both industry heads. Yeah, so we're, like, both, yeah. we're both like coming at it. Like, I mean, I remember going to my accountant one time being like, you know, I think, I don't know. I think I'm pretty good. Like, I think we're pretty set. Yeah. And, uh, and he was still just like, let's just play it by ear. Let's just still be safe. To be fair, this was like the pandemic time. It was still a little weird and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen. But yeah, I didn't know it was going to happen. But the more B and I have talked about it and gone through it, it's I'm starting to realize the power of credit. And I, I've always been, it's all, there's one thing my dad gave me amazing advice on when I was a kid, you know, cause he's always worked his butt off and he provided for us and stuff and sure. best dad. Um, but money's always been tight, you know, like, like, so 
so some of the best advice he gave me, he's just like, make sure you have good credit, man. He's like, just do everything you can to have good credit. And so that's what I've just been working my ass off to, to make sure of. But I didn't realize it had that sort of power Doesn't. now. Like I know a huge thing is making sure it's dense and making sure it's like your debt to credit ratio. Like it's a weird thing with credit. It's almost like you kind of, credit's like a very interesting beast. I'm still kind of figuring out. I agree. Yeah. I mean, I have clients all the time that are, you know, they argue with me about their credit because I have some that, you know, they make tremendous income, right? Mm -hmm. But then their credit's kind of hosed or not necessarily hosed, but a little, a little messy. Yeah. And they're like, look, look how much money I make. And there's people who make a fraction of what I make and they're getting homes left and right. And I'm mm -hmm. like, well, credit's everything. Yeah. It's everything. They, you can make less money and have better credit and you have a smoother process. I did, and right. I just, cause for like liability and like how people yeah, trust I you. I mean, look, like, you're applying for credit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, it's like if you're applying for a relationship and it's like, well, I look amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Like I can bench 350. <laughs> I'm tall. Yeah, yeah. I'm in doubt. Yeah. I'm, I'm all these things. Yeah, yeah. And I'm super cool. I got all the fashion. But just so you know, like my last girlfriend, I cheated on her 10 times. Yes. So yeah. like, you ready for this? Yeah. yeah. Give me, yeah. you know, this marriage. And they're going to be like, no. no, you're applying for literally loyalty with me. Yeah. You're going to say all that other stuff, but your credit's shit. Dude, that's a brilliant yeah. way yeah. of putting it. That's a great it. way. That, yeah. that yeah. you probably, if someone heard just that in a clip, you probably just <laughs> showed them credit in a way they've never seen They'll it. They'll be calling you soon, Matt. No, because that's exactly- <laughs> Yeah, that'll be a clip. It's, it's so yeah. funny because mm. the way you just explained it was conceptualized to me through talking to Brandon, talking to my accountant probably like a year back is when I yeah. realized, you know, because I like, I've got mine damn near perfect now. It's taken years. Like I've just been really slow and smart over time with it. And uh, that actually gives me a lot of confidence because especially in the, this yeah. industry, yeah. you have to be careful with your money you have. But like I was always been told, just pay attention to your credit. And now mm -hmm. that makes so much sense because it is true. It's all about a loyalty thing. I mean, yeah. I, it has helped me get apartments when I didn't have like the funds because we can never prove. They'll be like, oh, show your history. Oh, and yeah. you're, like, you're like, I can show you last year. I made all this at one time, yeah. but I, I can tell you right now, yeah. I don't know when I'm going to make my next thing. Yeah. And they're like, Ugh. and then we'll send the credit and they're like, okay, well, at least we know you're not the type to go spend it like, yeah. exactly. like this, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, oh, that makes me still. So <laughs> so yeah. yeah. right. It's like, I mean, that's <laughs> like, you know, we've had a conversation about this too, with the yeah. whole, the, the idea of obviously you've, you've spent a lot of time and built this portfolio for yourself for a quote unquote passive income. But I, we've talked about how yeah. much it like frustrates us. This um, yeah. this lie that's sold about the how quick it is, yeah. and how immediate you'll make it. How and not, you know, yeah. like and to pick up what you were just saying too. So, can you explain what's a what's a way to get a loan if you didn't do your taxes or you don't have your tax returns? What I mean, happens there? That's the thing is there's a lot of ways to actually get loans with a lack of income documentation. Mm -hmm. As long mm -hmm. as you have the other factors. So if you have the good credit, mm -hmm. you know if you have the down payment, you can get a lot of different loans. Right. Um, there's so many different ways besides what's called full doc. Mm. You know, there's a ton of different methods, you know, with bank statements only, or just with profit and loss statements, or if let's say your pay is sporadic, but you are making enough and mm -hmm. your employer kind of pays you sporadically. And it's not exactly like, you know, a biweekly paycheck at the exact same amount, but you do make that money. So there's verification of employment only, right. but you know, it's all limited doc. So if you have the other factors, credit, down payment, and so on, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where there's a will, there's a way. And hmm. is that, is there a benefit to being in California because they give you more opportunities or is, no, no, okay. No, these programs are mostly nationwide. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, I mean, most of the banks we work with are in the majority of the country. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. there are some, you know, desolate areas that they might not be in or there's different laws in certain places like New York, Texas, and, and certain places where the mm -hmm. laws are a bit different on lending, but the programs themselves are pretty much nationwide. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, yeah, there's, I mean, there's so many ways to get a loan right now. Right. But you got to have some of the factors. So yeah. like, you know, you got to have two out of three. Right. You now, know, if is you've got credit and assets, but you, you don't have the income, you can find a way, but you've got okay. like excellent income and you have some assets, but mm -hmm. you've got host credit, okay, you can go with a lower credit score program because you have the other stuff perfect. Right. Right. You know, or vice versa. Would you say no. oh go, go ahead. No, no go I was ahead. gonna go say ahead. the king of those, would you still say is credit though? Well Probably. here's the thing about credit is right, right. it's like credit, if if you ruin it, it, it can be a long road back to good credit. Right. right. Money in the bank, if you don't have it today, 
you could have it in three months from now. Who knows? Right. Right. Or you could get a gift from a family member. Right. right? And right, someone's right, right, helping right. you out. Totally. You know, a family member wants to help you out. Your mom wants to help you out with your first home purchase. You know, she says, okay, hey, I'll give you half your down payment. Money just changed overnight. Right. Right. But your credit toes, it might take you a, a year, two years to come back from that. You file bankruptcy. Brutal. You're talking years to come back from that. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah, I would say that that's the hardest thing to change, uh -huh. right? A job, you may get a new job in two months that pays you 30% more than your last job. And now, okay, I qualify now. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Right. Or if you're self-employed, you might have a really good year. And then right at the end of that year, you're like, I'm ready to go. Right. So those things change. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Credit, once you mess it up, it's. Yeah. It's hard to it's gonna take some time. Crawl back yeah. from that. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. Both my parents were good about that, thankfully. Like they both taught me. Yeah. They were like, always Perfect. pay your debts, never go late on anything. Yeah. Oh so, what huge. 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 Yeah. Huge. That's so, yeah. I mean you yeah, can always, the, no, go ahead. No, I, I was I was saying this like fascinating thing. I watched um this uh maybe it was Warren Buffett. I don't know. I maybe or maybe it wasn't, but it was the idea that like you can open credit for your children. Yeah, I was just about yeah. to go into that. It's funny. Okay, That's yeah. That's literally so what go, I was about go, to cut you off with. Connection. <laughs> we were, we were on the same page. Yeah. Get it, get it. Yeah. So, yeah, what I was going to say was even if, you know, if you can instill that in your kids, that's great, mm -hmm. but you can start them off early. And I was lucky that, like, my mom kind of did that awesome. a little bit early. So, like, when I was in high school, she already added me to her credit cards. I didn't get the card. Yeah. So, it wasn't that cool. <laughs> right. But, but she added me because she was already building it. So she added me to a couple cards and she was, you know, perfect on payment history. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that'll already start raising your credit up. And then all you got to do once you have a few years of that, not even a few years, you don't need it. But I right. mean, I wasn't going to go to a bank in high school and like apply for a credit card. Right. You know, but once you have that history and then you become an adult, you're like, okay, if I walk into the bank now, I have credit I didn't even really know that I had. Yeah. Right. So I just walk in and they're like, okay, no here problem. $6,000. Here you go. Yeah, Here's a credit an, card. Like invaluable. quick. Yeah. 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 Like that, yeah, that was like the first card I applied for. It was like right away, yeah. 6,000 immediately. And I was like, okay. And then I know other people who didn't quite have that mm. luxury and then they go and they can't get anything. Right. Yeah. And they didn't do anything bad. They just don't have any credits. So they're like, okay, right. they have to go get like a tiny credit card at like, you know, department store or something. Start with like 500 bucks, right. and like work your way up. And yeah. you're already in a position too, to where if you're smart with payments, you can start building that limit. And by building oh, yeah, that sure. limit, right. yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I mean, awesome. within a month, they'll raise you if you're good with it. Like, good with it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, especially <laughs> if you start on the lower side, yeah. yeah. Dude, I, I have some buddies that have just have gotten that credit card and just like Abused slammed it. it. And you're like, dude. Hey, it, you know. <laughs> it's rough. It, <laughs> yeah, it, is, it, it will be. If you know you can pay it back. I the guess interest rates these days too, it's like, yeah. I mean, you're into the mid to even high 20s yeah. on credit card these days. It's, I mean, you're, yeah. it's it's crazy. brutal, man. Yeah. It's, it's very disturbing. So yeah, yeah you, you don't want to have credit card debt right now. Yeah. I think it was I think it was Warren Buffett that might have said the best investment, the small investment is paying down your credit cards. But I don't, I don't, don't quote me on yeah. it. Yeah. Someone smart said that. Yeah, well, Someone smart. well yeah. That was, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Some yeah. of the best advice I was ever given, and I know how much of a luxury it is to say what I'm about to say, is that if you can, if you are in a position to where you don't have to use debit cards and you can get by by using your credit cards for the most part, especially if like this is, I mean, when you start involving a family and stuff, I know how difficult this gets, but if it's like can just be you and you're only accountable for yourself and you can strictly cover everything through your credit cards and never really use your debit card, it's like that is the way to go because you're building yeah. credit. But then paying it off. Uh, of course, of course, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that no, 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 that's there. the most important thing. Of <laughs> course, paying it off. But it just talks about like the beauty of all this is not only you're building your credit, you're paying it all off, you're building your credit limits, you're creating history for yourself, especially, sure. you know, this minute you do it. It also talks about the unfortunate thing with debit cards is like when you lose money on a debit card, transaction goes south or something like that to get that money back that you really need could take forever. Whereas yeah. credit cards, you're protected by so many yeah. things where sure. if you have fraud or whatever, boom, that's not really on you. That's not out of your account. There's like so many little things. And again, I know that in theory, it's like, oh, great. But, you know, if you reach that mm -hmm. potential where you can start doing that, it's like one of the best things you can do for yourself, especially following like building your credit history. Yeah. And the points, rewards oh, system, dude. and then just oh, yeah. growing the credit, getting increased limits and things like that. Oh, yeah, dude. The points are great. Yeah, yeah, study your credit cards. I think that's some great advice. It, yeah. know and use what, the benefits. Know what benefits your cards <laughs> come with. There's actually like, it's, it's a ridiculous amount of people that like have gone on forums and stuff they've talked about. They have 
they didn't know they had these points building up and all like yeah. use it, man. And like, then they uh, spend the they do the the yearly f annual fee, but then they don't use any of their yes. Exactly. yes. Well, that's the thing is that credit card companies, the banks, right? They, yeah. They bet on the fact that you're not going to use the credit card wisely. Yeah. Of and course. you're going to carry balances. Yeah. If everyone were to use it wisely and they'd never pay any interest, then there'd be no, no, be no credit money. card system. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you paid it off, you know, two weeks after you spend it. It's like they're yeah. going to not make anything. They're going to give you the perks and they're going to lose on you. So right. they win on 95% of people. Yeah. So that 5% who's like perfect with it. That's fine. They have they to deal. Care. They deal with that loss. It's like the casinos. Like they oh, kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm sorry. You know, I feel like I've got too excited and jumped over like three things you're going to ask. Oh, no, so, no, no. Yeah. You're good. Um, my last question was looping around back into the loans yeah. because I love how you built your house. You Obviously, you didn't Thank personally you. build <laughs> no. it, but you had it built. Yeah. It is beautiful. So if, um, <laughs> if uh, for someone that's basically thinking, I've, I've had a lot of people come up to me thinking about like, oh, what if we want to just build our dream house like how would that go about like what's the construction financing like what is purchasing the right deal look like so it's a it's a lot harder than than it sounds to just build your right. house but yeah. as far yeah. as renovating there are conventional renovation loans that exist right now mm -hmm. where oh. you can finance you know the rehab on the property it's a little more intricate and you know it's not like super um i mean it's not it's not very desirable for a lot of the agents and stuff mm -hmm. like they don't like to see that you know if they know mm -hmm. they're going in like that it gets a little complicated and then they'd rather pick someone with a more simple sure yeah type yeah. of loan but but yeah it exists conventional wise and you mm -hmm. can finance enough to rehab the whole thing and renovate mm -hmm. it's there right now oh, so, like yeah. Fannie Freddie products their conventional loans right now so you, yeah. not many people use them though no kidding so you're saying you could go into when you're going into a purchase, you can also go yeah. in with the renovation loan thing in mind too. Yeah. No hand kidding. in hand. Like, let's wow. say you just need like, yeah. let's say you just need 50 grand, right? Right. Not to go crazy. Like I spend a lot more. To, yeah. yeah, to yeah mine yeah. was a 1950 something home sure. original. Okay. Okay. Like it was original. Like there was Completely little leprechaun tiles like in the kitchen. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Okay. Like it was very original. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, um, it looked like. Like maybe like a gingerbread house. Right, 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 right. I, I won't know. take offense to that. And now That's it's okay. Beautiful. Yeah. No wow. problem. No problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you, so that, was, that wasn't a jab. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, you. It looked like you lived there. Yeah, at some yeah. point. <laughs> right, 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 right. So you, you gutted that thing. Oh, completely. Oh, wow. yeah, so yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no. It was. I don't think there's a single thing that remained looking the same. Wow. I left a couple pieces just, that I was just like, I, I can repaint that or I can keep that. Throw new handles on it. Yeah. That was like one thing in the whole house. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I, yeah, I gutted the whole thing down to the studs, changed walls and Dang, everything. Dude. Roof, plumbing, yeah. electricity, I mean everything. Yeah. So but you don't have to do that on all the homes, of, right? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't need to do the plumbing. Mm -hmm. It worked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's like if I'm in it, I was just gonna go Clean balls slate. to the wall and just finish it. Mm -hmm. You know, but most people won't do it like that, right? Mm -hmm. So if you go into a home and you're like, Okay, I want I need fifty grand because I want to at least like I want to redo the kitchen and bathrooms. Mm -hmm. I want to slap a coat of paint on this thing. I want to do new floors. Mm -hmm. I'll upgrade the lights later. Or there's already lights. Like if you're getting something that's renovated, you know, even like 20 years ago, they already had recessed lighting back then. Right. So you're, you might be well off. So get like 50 or 60 grand. Yeah, you can build that right into the loan. Mm. It just gets a little more complicated. So I will say that a lot of people in my position don't promote those types of loans sure. as much. And then also on like your side of things mm -hmm. uh, for, for realtors, they don't really promote it much because they know it can get a bit more complicated. It sounds bad, but right. it's just the truth of the industry. Right. Yeah. It's not super common, mm -hmm. but it's there. Mm -hmm. And it's not that hard. Right. Um, it's definitely doable. It also shows how much work is put into like being a realtor. And you know, oh, yeah. and being part of like building your entire mortgage. And it's lending. not like the TV shows. No, yeah. it's yeah. like there's yeah. so yeah. much work involved. The, yeah, yeah, it's not a few phone yeah. calls and showings, and then you ring the bell. There's no selling sunset. No, going on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not quite. I mean, they're definitely doing it. Yeah, you know, they're doing real transactions. Course, I'm not. I'm not discounting that. But it but, doesn't look that way. But they don't want to. Yeah. They don't want to show you all the yeah. the not so fun stuff. 
it's yeah, boring. It's not, not the good sexy TV. stuff. Well, it right. wouldn't be. It wouldn't it's be not. entertaining. No. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Maybe for us, we'd be like, yeah, I went through that. Yeah. yeah. You it's know, relatable. but like everyone else would be like, well, yeah. I don't want to hear about this crap. Well, yeah. That's we've you know a big discussion we've had as well is the uh, renting versus buying, which is sure. a, a big thing, especially in Los Angeles or New York, these bigger cities. Yeah. And um, you know, just talking about there's some things people don't take into account, especially with the new home, which is like you were talking about, it's like you going into it knowing what you want to do, right? Sure. And some people have talked about it's like the appeal of renting is, you know, yeah, you're not owning anything. You're you're there's no investment happening. There's no equity being built. But it's carefree. But it's carefree. It's this idea yeah. of like the toilet blows out. That's not your problem. You know what I mean? All, <laughs> yeah. all these, no, but seriously, it's like all it's these true. things. It's yeah, like someone else fixed. Yeah, it's it like because not on top of the mortgage you're paying and on yeah. top yeah. of like stuff like that, you're also having this stuff like come in as well. It's because I used to be dead on and I, I still I still want my home. Like I like it's yeah. my dream to have a home like that is my dream. I'm still going to do that. Um, and just renting just won't be the same for me until like I, until I have my home. But I understand now more than ever why people still kind of teeter to the renting and stuff like that. Cause it's like different types of stresses, you know? Yeah. I mean, I used to send out this, um, it was like, um, an email flyer mm. and it was a little video, short video on renting versus owning. Mm. And it wasn't all just towards owning. Right. You know, there was pros on both sides. Right, so it right, wasn't right. just like a completely biased yeah. marketing, which is tool. cool. That's cool. Yeah. It, you know, it was both. And so it lets people weigh their options because, it just lets them know that, hey, maybe right now mm. you're not ready, but it's an honest, it's an honest marketing tool. And mm -hmm. that was, I like that. That's why I the sent it out. The yeah. transparency. Yeah, because there's some things you, if you're just not ready, you're just not ready. Mm -hmm. But I'll always say that buying is better than renting. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Not because I'm biased, because I just know. Yeah. Because you can't create equity. Yeah. In renting. Right. You, right. Can, mm -hmm. you can live there 10 years if you want. You're not going to sell anything. Right, right. You're never going to profit. Right. Yeah. yeah. You're never going to have anything you own except for the furniture, which will be trashed in 10 years in there. Especially yeah. like a, in a place, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Yeah. especially in a place like LA. Yeah. And this I is mean, what we were saying in another yeah. episode. I mean, there's so many people I've spoken to alone that don't even, don't even or didn't even knew they were qualified to own a house mm, until yeah. we did a pre-approval and they're like, oh wait, I can actually get something now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you a lot know, of people I, don't know. I mean, they're yeah, not in so the business. I, mean, I always recommend at least getting that checked out, getting pre-approved. Because some people, like we were saying, uh, to backtrack beginning of the episode, we were saying like not everyone knows you can do 5% down or I, that lower down payments. Yeah. Everyone everyone naturally thinks, thinks 20. because yeah, yeah it's, it's 20%. And then, for a while. Yeah, in LA with prices so high, some people may never make the move with only that in the back of their head. Right. So I always recommend people to get pre-approved or just ask um, you know, a loan officer, someone right. that knows yeah. what they're doing. Well, because it also makes sense too, because people's argument, you know, when it's the uh, the twenty percent is like, okay, well, let's say I put that down payment, but now I'm paying this monthly thing, and what? Like, I just used all my money, but now thinking about like, okay, well, if you did a five percent, and you're you got a great, um, you know, mortgage because of like your credit and stuff. Then if you look at that as like, oh, well, okay, that's just my rent. It's going to be a higher rent, but this is still going into something I own now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that does change everything. Like, yeah, it's going my, into you. You blew yeah. my mind with the 5%. Thing. That, like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I did not think that was a possible. I mean, again, it isn't just as like easy as that because yeah. like we were talking about the journey to building your credit, the journey to making sure you're set up. That's a journey yeah. in itself. So it's. It's like, obviously, I'm not delusional to the idea. It's like, oh, easy, good credit, get the place, nice, 5%. Like, I know that's still a big ass for a lot of people, mm -hmm. but it's, that's also still very but it's, refreshing but it's to know. significant yeah. difference to significant. the 20%. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Especially when you're going on like based a million on a million dollar yeah. home. Like that. Yeah, it's a huge difference. <laughs> huge difference, bro. Yeah, it seems like a small amount to get something so big. I mean, it's right. not going to be big in LA. It's going to be probably like <laughs> fairly normal. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you're like from out of state and you've experienced what homes are like in you know, other states. Yeah. Sure. Like example, Texas, mm -hmm. right? I'm not saying all parts because some of the metro areas of Texas are very expensive. Yeah. But, right. but in general, like if you go there, you can get a lot more bang for your buck. I mean, like probably if I had to guesstimate two and a half to three times more bang for your buck, mm -hmm. easy, mm -hmm. you know. But the so. flip is different as well, right? You're saying like investing and flipping over there? Oh, no, I guess um, flipping, that's a very specific terminology for housing. But I, I guess I'm saying like the return, return, on, the return on investment your appreciation is value. Appreciation. It's slower. Yeah. I mean, unless you're in an area that's growing over there. Yeah. You know, yeah. then that's that's a whole other story. Right. You know, if it's growing and developing and mm -hmm. it just happens to be cheap now, I mean, the percentage gains could be the same. Sure. As over here. I mean, here it's 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 
yeah, it's a healthy market, right? right? It's crazy over here. But at some point it's like, we've already kind of, some of the areas have kind of already hit their- Oh, like balanced. Their capacity on like developing or becoming mm -hmm. cooler or more trendy. Right, right. But then there's still areas over here that haven't hit that. Right. And that are still mm -hmm. increasing and changing. Right, right, and developing right, right. that were rough areas before and they're still like getting better and better now. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. It's no. like uh, not always a good thing for uh, of course some, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. some people in the community don't always like that, yeah. you know, and I get that. Yeah. But it's still happening and, you know, it's going to keep going like that. Yeah. You know, it's like How I um, it absolutely. Um, oh, dude, I'm in love with Highland Park. I think Highland Park is a good like, example. Man, that, no, I know. I know. It's a huge like. My friend, um, dude, she lucked out. She found this beautiful spot there for like great, like I remember she got a great, great um, offer on it. Like just bought it for just killer. And I yeah. know in my heart that it mm -hmm. is probably appreciated so well because she got it in like 2018. Perfect time. Dude, mm. oh my gosh, just yeah. such a genius. And it's a beautiful, home, beautiful yeah. home. And it, but it, but it's again, like, like you were talking about where it's like, not necessarily, I wouldn't call it like a starter for all people, but it's that kind of starter home. It's like, you know, two sure. bedroom, I think one and a half mm -hmm. bath sort of situation, nice yard. You know what I mean? It's like, and if most people for what the initial buying, buying price was for it probably would have been like, what the hell? But it's like, just knowing my head, what that has probably become. It's just like, pff, dude. yeah, I mean, look, th that's, that's the entire market everywhere from 2010 to mm -hmm. now, yeah, just about. Yeah, I mean the last two years has been a little interesting, but there was still some appreciation. Right. But um, but before that, I mean, it was just a climb, steep climb. Yeah, Dude. it was just amazing. So anyone who bought, yeah, well, in the LA, last, like, LA hit like that was a that was probably one yeah. of the biggest appreciation. It was crazy. Um, came back. in a long time but during like before before pandemic time to now oh yeah. just in oh general. yeah that too yeah. yeah the pandemic like it started out it like kind of killed the market for a very brief period of time maybe like yeah well like six months mm -hmm. it was like people were freaking out like oh my god sell fleeing like yeah. we like me and my partner uh we built a house from ground up um out here in la puente it's an area that people might not know mm -hmm. but but anyways, it's kind of like east of Los Angeles, mm -hmm. a little bit southeast. But, um, you know, it's a good area. Sure, uh, sure. But we were freaking out because it, it just, the pandemic just started. Oh, yeah. And it was like showings were weird. You had to like fill out a special COVID disclosure to even go see a property. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was just yeah. funky. And yeah. so we were like, oh, no, let's just, we don't know what's going to happen. Everything's good now. We were thinking of keeping it. We were actually refinancing it. Mm -hmm. We were just going to pull some cash out because we had a ton of equity. Yeah. And then we were like, no, let's just, let's just, we don't know. Right. Yeah. And then we sold it and then like rates went like, wow. And then everything got crazy. Wow. And we were like, damn. Yeah. Like within a year, it went up another like 80 grand and we're like, yeah. Cause you, well, cause you just gotta be, you just gotta, <laughs> no, it was, it was, no, yeah. it was probably our most profitable investment ever. Yeah. Right. Right. Close. Yeah. It yeah, was yeah. like definitely in the top two yeah. with, with me and my partner, but you know, we kicked ourselves, but like, you, you never yeah. know. Is that typically how you like to operate too with investments is like with a trustworthy partner or are you kind of more a solo yeah. guy or? No, I've always, I mean, just about almost everything besides like what I have now, like yeah. that was a thing. So everything that we did, uh, me and my partner who's also my business partner now, I'm mm -hmm. sure, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, Tim, obviously yeah. he's, he'll probably be on this mm -hmm. at yeah, some sure, point. Sure, sure. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, we always, we're getting out of it. Mm. Like we were investing in, and selling for profit and investing, selling for profit. Yeah. And then it was just with like the home I live in and then right. another property I have that I finally was like, no, Yeah. like it's time to getting older now. Like I, it's time to stop selling. Right, right, right. And you know, both of us. So we're kind of in that headspace now where we don't really want to just flip properties anymore. Mm -hmm. When we do a project, we kind of want to hold on to it mm -hmm. because you got to create that passive income mm -hmm. and create that pro portfolio because you sell it and you get the money and you turn it into something else and it's great. And if you can consistently do it and that's your business model, fine. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. But you got to keep along the way. Right. Or else you're not going to have the passive income. You're just going to, that's all non-passive because you're working constantly on those projects. You've got to make sure they go right. So it's a job. Yeah. 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 You know, but once you have it and you created a, a good value project and you have good equity, you have the cash flow, 
than just set it and forget it. Yeah. Until something is broken, you have to absolutely. get it fixed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Or there's a spider infestation, yeah. you have to call your pest guy. I mean, hey, this like, guy- I just had that, yeah. it's like, okay. This guy's <laughs> calling me, texting the boys 24 seven, waiting for one of us to hook on to something. So yeah. I'm sure we'll go into partnership for <laughs> yeah, something eventually. Soon. Yeah. 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 But, but partnership's a good way to start out for sure. Yeah. And that's that's the way that I started and I think most a lot of people I know started doing Definitely. it because it's just better. You're in it as a team, just like anything as a team. Yeah. You, you know, you can you rely on someone. Well. Yeah, yeah, easier. So, you know, you have this much money, but now you just double it because you have your partner. Mm -hmm. You can go in it as a joint venture. You have two partners. Okay, now you just tripled your money and you all came in with a small amount, but you equal to it's a starting point. Mm -hmm. Then you mm -hmm. get that experience, turn that money over and make some money, hopefully on it. And right. then now you you have more money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and now pretty you, soon and now you, you have understand. enough to just do it by yourself. Yeah. Right. Right. Now you have the experience as yeah. well. But even even when we had enough money to do it by ourselves, we were still doing partnerships because it's it's just yeah. sometimes it's better. Yeah. I mean, it's <clears throat> again, it's more secure. You're stronger together. And there's that comfort of knowing you have someone you trust so much that 100%. can also like pick up if you have an emergency happen and you need your buddy to check it like because you can't be stretched so thin or right. be the guy in the ocean on the computer all the time like you were definitely yeah man yeah and then do you also i guess like moving forward um you were saying like a big goal of yours too is to obviously start a family right and then definitely right? yeah 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 so and prolonging that as much as possible yeah. <laughs> yeah. as big of a goal it is yeah. as it is for me it's like i feel like i've been like yeah Pushing it, yeah. pushing it, pushing it, but yeah, it's 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 getting yeah, it's getting, it's getting right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. also, I mean, this guy's also a hell of a chef. Are you, oh are yeah, you, he's wanted to open a restaurant for no kidding. Forever. Is that like your passion? I project? should make that a goal because it honestly, it's a it's definitely a passion goal, dude. Of you mine. you one thousand percent should no, honestly, but I don't want to just food. jump in and like. Mm -hmm. But you and know you've what I got mean? you've got all the business sides of it. Like unlike most people, that are those creatives, there's like. They don't, but you've got your, <laughs> like, you, I mean, look. Yes, maybe, but I've heard restaurants and everything, like, restaurants yeah. are a different animal. Yeah, I've heard. Different animal. Yeah. I mean, super cost mm -hmm. intensive. Like, your margins are so razor thin. I mean, these days, like, you can charge stupid amounts for, like, basic food. So right. maybe well, it's, in this city. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So maybe yeah. it's changing, mm -hmm. you know, when you can sell, like, you know, three tacos for 20 bucks because it's trendy. Yeah. So it's a little different, right? right? right but right. in general, I know it's very cost intensive. Like cost of goods is crazy for restaurants. Well, dude, we got to touch on this real quick. What are you like? Okay, when did the- They're hyping it up. I'm not- that no, well, no, he's actually uh, insane. But, but I'm saying like- So good. If you, obviously it must be enough. Here's the thing. I like to cook. I don't, my ass doesn't ever go like, oh, I'm going to open a store. I'm going to open a, or think about it. Yeah. It's never even crossed no, my mind. So the fact it that- It would not be fine dining. This, okay, well, that's what I'm saying. The fact that it's crossed your mind though means you've like thought about it enough, been passionate about it enough. Like what type of food would it be? I honestly would make, uh, I would probably make tacos. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say it because yeah. I was going to yell but, it out. But, but I do it, I do it in a different way. I yeah. wouldn't do just- traditional like Mexican tacos like with all the same, right? it would have to be fusion yeah. because I don't want to just do the same. Right. And I'm not going to come in there and try yeah. to do it, you know, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm big into Mexican food. My wife's Mexican. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And you know, I mean, even without her, I'd still be big into yeah. it, but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. but like, She'll you be know, part of it yeah, yeah, yeah. Her mom, maybe, yeah, yeah. yeah, because <laughs> yeah. she's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And her food's delicious. So, um, I'm big in that, but, um, yeah, I can't, I don't want to just go in there and try to do, I just don't think that's like I wouldn't go open like an Italian restaurant. That's yeah. yeah like yeah. I just don't think I love Italian like, food. Yeah. Person, and I love is, cooking he pasta. He's the guy that taught he me how to make fresh, fresh noodles. Pasta. Oh. Yeah, so I love making pasta, yeah. but I don't know. I, if I did, I need an Italian partner. There you go. Back to the a full real circle. Italian partner. Yeah. Like, full circle. Born and raised yeah. like You might just yeah. have a chain of different things, you know. Maybe, but yeah, I think tacos would be fusion. Yeah, man. I've also I've always heard to you know, like you were talking about the margin is so thin. I've always heard specifically for restaurants, the first few years, you ha you have to be in it because you love it. Like there's no other, yeah. you know what I mean? And, I'm, and I'm, I mean, I guess you could be like, yeah, no, duh, like that's for everything. But I specifically I've heard for the food industry, it's like, you've got to be, it's like you said, like, I know what I want to make. 
this is what I'm going to make. This is the fusion behind or whatever. It's like yeah. you have to kind of be in that pocket. You can't just be like, oh, I'm going to open a cafe. We'll see how it goes. It's like, no. <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. so. You got to be the right it. people, yeah. you know, first coming into your restaurant mm. and building 100%. that awareness is like a huge thing. I feel like thing. it can go bad really fast. Yeah. Totally. I'm man. super critical of like food. Yeah. 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 Same. And, yeah. You know, Yelp also, and stuff. You also think Kirsten, big Yelper. Kirsten will we'll literally think about, hey, let's go out yep. to eat. She won't go to that restaurant if it has bad reviews. I well, won't either. Yeah. yeah. But I also don't raid any restaurants. So I'm kind of like, mm, yeah. I do. I'm like a walking contradiction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Like nice. I rely on it so much, but I won't leave a single review. No, bad or man. Good. I at least do the stars. I do nothing. Come yeah. On, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like one of those people who just goes on Instagram and I don't comment on anything. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I don't do anything. Just no, check it out. I didn't realize how bad I am at that as well. I am not a liker, and I'm rarely a commenter unless unless it's like a few of my homies. It's like I'm so liking. I'm so like I'll get in a mood where I'll be like, all right, I'll throw out three, yeah, yeah, three yeah. little likes here. I'll be like, generous. oh, they got engaged. They got engaged. Good job. Like, yeah. you know. I'm the opposite though. If I I buy like all my friends' things and then like share them. Oh man! See, that's just how I am, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. trying. I'm trying. I mean, that's to work the way that. it's supposed to be, right? It's that's the yeah, function you're supposed of to it. Like, that's right? the social yeah. media Share. aspect. Well, you're of supporting, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the social you know, media aspect of social the largest media. social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah got platform. It. Yeah, yes, okay, cool. that's the one. Yeah, man. But uh, speaking on that, though, how can people come and you know support or come and get your wisdom or? You know, how can they call you up? You're going to have to get to the rack. Not social yeah, yeah, media yeah. if that's yeah, answer you're looking for. No, question, like yeah. to find you, like to, to come and work yeah. with you guys. Call me. Yeah, okay. Email me. Text right. me. Is there a website? There's a website. Okay. There's a website. What's the we'll, website? We'll plug it. Yeah, we will yeah, plug yeah, it. We'll put it in the comments. And then you can always come see us. Yeah. You know, we're we're local. We're right by Universal. Studio City. It's a beautiful office. Hard to miss. Yeah. My question is, you guys are local, but do you work? Like you said, like. I mean, look, we do, we do, we're California. Okay. Mainly. Mainly, got it. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's enough of a market here where we really focus on that. Yeah. We'll do other states. Yeah. But mostly in our private lending. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, unique scenarios, but sure, uh, sure, sure, we'll sure. do other states. It's just more so in, in, with investment type loans where people are building homes or, you know, fixing and flipping or developing. Mm -hmm. That's when we go out of state. Got it. Got you know, it, we'll it. do Texas. We've done New Jersey, you know, like Florida. Yeah, okay. You know, we'll do other states. But yeah. with the cookie cutter stuff, like first time home buyer, we don't even have a market outside of California because for those types of clientele, we like to be more like hands on, be able to touch, personal. Yeah. Exactly. 100%. Yeah. Um, but but for investors and stuff, yeah, we're, we're borderline just nationwide on that. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, dude. Yeah. This has been awesome. I've been yeah, like very informative. Zoned in. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know too your much, stuff. Too much information. No, no it's good no, information. It's we'll have fun great. on the next one. No, yeah. this is, <laughs> exactly. Okay, the I'll next one, this. I'll bring the cocktails and we'll just. All right, this yeah. like and you make lecture. the tacos. Please. Yes. I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Tacos. Yeah. Yeah. yes. We should have a busybody Bro. makes tacos. Go and sell it. in the kitchen. In the kitchen. When you open your restaurant, that's what will happen. Oh, man. All right, that's going to be a long time from now if it ever happens. Come on. Like maybe next year. Episode 200 at that point. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Well, man, <laughs> this has been great. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. As, yeah. Appreciate yeah. you guys having no, me. No, thanks for sharing the wisdom yeah, on all no, the balls, brother. I feel yeah. like there's so yeah. many nuggets, especially that bit about the credit, that yeah. that metaphor for the credit blew my mind a little bit. That's, the yeah. cheating one? Yeah, yeah. That was no. perfect. I think I told my client that the other day. Yeah. That was, the same that's, one who was complaining. Dude, yeah. that perfect. I don't know if I described the, like, the full yeah, aspects yeah. of the dude in that scenario, but... I, I definitely told her that. Oh, yeah. You know which client. Yeah, yeah. I know who you're That's our about, snippet, yeah. baby. That's a, that's our yeah. snippet. We get one a, a few juicy ones an episode, and that's the one. Right. But um, yeah, but guys, if you have any comments, anything relating to loans, any questions for Matt, put it down in the comments. We'll make sure he sees it and gets it. Yes, yes. And if you need any help with any sort of pre-approvals, he's your guy. You'll yeah. find all his information on the office and how to contact him in the link to all the episodes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Busy Babies. Right, yeah, guys. Thanks, Thanks for coming on, guys. Thanks, Busy Babies. We love you. Peace. <laughs>